Hello, interviewee. Good to be here with you. Um, all right, the strike is over. What have you I been know. doing the last 191 days? Um, I was uh, exercising and eating, and then I decided to eat without the exercise. Okay. I want to get Ozempic, and I want to take it and prove you can gain weight on it. <laughs> <laughs> and then I was uh, binging, right? So you're home all the time. You watch all the shows and you binge. And then I thought to myself, these are all terrible. We don't deserve a raise. Uh, stop it. Right? Like, uh, it's not strong enough. It's not strong enough. Listen, you directors took the first thing I was throwing at you. That's, not my <laughs> That's all we deserve. <laughs> so uh, please don't destroy. Yes. This is the comedy group, and they've yes. made this movie. Did you write it or direct it? I was a producer. I'm only here because of the, the strike. Oh, I know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because of the strike, you get the lame guest. You don't get the star. You get the producer. No one wants the producer. No one wants Daryl Zanuck on their show. Who's that? Exactly. exactly. Um. <laughs> but uh, it's a very, very funny movie with the guys from Saturday Night Live. Yeah, what's and it about? It's about, like, they're, okay, there's they're, they're guys. There's, a, there's like, a tre treasure. And the plot doesn't matter, Sarah. <laughs> it's, it's funny. It's funny. That's all. <laughs> the trailer and I thought it looked kind of Goonies-ish, you know? Uh, yeah, no, it's very silly and like, you know, it's what we all need. It's just pure uh, silly. Yeah, oh boy. And these guys, these kids, yeah. I mean, come yeah, on. Come on. But uh, they met in college That's and right. what were you doing in college? Well, I went to USC. I went to uh, USC uh, Cinema School. Oh, no applause, usually. <laughs> you say a college and somebody went there in class, no. but no, nothing for you. No, nope. zero. And, uh, I was not good. I was very young. I was 17 when I when I got there. Everyone was much smarter than me. They loved movies more than me. So all my little films were the worst ever. Matt Reeves, the guy who did the Batman, he was in my class and his stuff would look amazing and my stuff was embarrassing. So then I'm like not that into it. I win the dating game. Wait, stop. What? So like, you know, I auditioned for the dating game as you do when you're young. And I win a trip to Acapulco, but when you have to go was during finals. So I had to decide whether or not to get an education or go to Acapulco. Acapulco. <laughs> there you go. There I am. Okay, is wait, it, that, wait, let's go back. That's my. Go back. Okay, uh, yeah, right. Look what I did. Fresh faced, new skinned, Jed Abbott. Yes. But there was a picture with. With the ladies. Let's go back to the Why picture are there with the two ladies. ladies? Uh, she gets to bring a friend for like rapey uh, reasons. We call it. I think we'll it's a it uh, chaperone. Sorry. No, it's a chaperone and uh, nothing. Oh, a chaperone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, then but, I was right. <laughs> um, Kevin Nealon was on the dating game. Yeah, Everyone many too. people. Steve Martin, Pee Wee Herman. Yeah. They were all Farrah Fawcett. Really? Yes. So, oh, that's, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to go on a YouTube search and find all of this later. So now the strike's over. What are you going to yeah. do? What's your plan? What are you, what are you doing now? Um, well, I started working on a book because... I didn't know how long it would last. So I, I'm putting out a book called Comedy Nerd, which is a scrapbook of all my photos and memorabilia oh, you have from so my much stuff. career. Yeah, so I, I brought some stuff because I don't know what to put in the book because I, I literally have like half a million photos in my phone. So I thought I would show you and you could tell me if it's book worthy. Oh, this is so fun. Yeah. Thank you. Right. Here we go. So the first, look who it is. Oh my God. Jed. Right? Do you remember what that I is? I have zero recollection of this. I know it's Larry Sanders. That's the first time I was ever allowed to direct was the Larry Sanders show, and I directed you. My first scene was you. And um, <laughs> what's interesting is you look exactly the same now, and I look like Bernie Sanders. <laughs> <laughs> what else did I bring? I think ooh, I brought ooh, more. So fun. Oh, so this oh. is something that was in Gary Shandling's uh, journals. When I did the documentary about Gary Shandling, I was able to read his journals. Take this and p plant it right yeah. into your heart. Give what you 
Give what you didn't get. That's a that's a that's awesome. Yeah. Give what you didn't get. That's right. Love more. Love so, more. But on the flip side of that, you know, he had a big corkboard with all these jokes that he, some of which I don't think he ever tried for obvious reasons. But this was one joke I just thought was weird that I found on his corkboard. Okay. It says, "Where were you on 9/11? What year? I've had 28 bad 9/11s." <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he ever tried it, but uh, it was on a cork board. That's a great one. <laughs> what else do we have? Okay, now this, is my, this? this is my one of my first jobs ever. That's me in the green shorts. <laughs> now that's Paul Simon, live in Central Park, pre-game show for HBO with Dennis Miller right there. Okay. And the audience doesn't know what they're doing. But, no, but, it had one of the first jokes I wrote for someone else, which I've always been very proud of, which is Dennis Miller said, uh, Paul Simon's gonna be here pretty soon with the 38 musicians from around the world it took to replace art. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great That's solid. Shut up and tell everybody.